Hey guys, it's Vasi and welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we'll see what can we get with $10 in Haukideki, Greece. Well, these are actually 10 euros, so we have even less. It's more like 8 euros 50 and we'll try to survive the whole day in Greece, but still doing the same activities like going to the beach, having ice cream and all the nice stuff. And also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already because I will be announcing very soon my very first giveaway and I'm so excited! Maybe I'm even more excited than you are but I'm also sure you will love it because I got actually inspired by you and your comments so I'm sure you will all like it. Okay, first things first coffee and breakfast. Let's go get them. I'm literally going to the first place that sells coffee and after that I'm going to the supermarket to grab some breakfast. I just got my coffee, here it is, and it was 1 euro 50. Let me show you. And it's actually a pretty good espresso. I went to the supermarket and I got a huge melon that costed only 1 euro. Look at that. All of this, it's literally <laughs> bigger than my hat, costed one euro. So I'm gonna go and home cut it and after that head to the beach. And I think I'm just gonna have it there. And here it is, I'm gonna cut only one half and bring it to the beach. And honestly, what's Greece without the amazing beaches? So I have packed and I'm on my way to the beach. Let's go. I'm at the beach now, I have my cute little breakfast and I can totally enjoy it while I'm at the seaside. So I finished with my breakfast and I spent only 2 euro 50 by having this amazing view and if everything goes right we should have enough money for the rest of the day but let's see. And if you actually enjoy this type of content where I travel on a budget and I'm giving you tips make sure to subscribe. It's time to go and grab a lunch. I'm getting quite hungry, so I'll be going to a bakery and I will take you with me. But how cute is my back? And this is what I got. Kind of a burek inside filled with feta and spinach and like cheese. It's honestly one of my favorites. Here it is. It's quite big, to be honest. Ow. And it's uh, good for lunch or breakfast on the go. And it costed two euros 30. 10 out of 10 recommend. It's so hot, I really need to get an ice cream. I got my ice cream and it costed two, only 1 euro 60. And look at it. It's huge. Mm. One of them is chocolate and banana, and the, the other one is yogurt and cherries. Mm. The yogurt one tastes really yogurty, if this makes sense, meaning like it's not like fake taste, but it's melting because here it's so hot. It tastes different than the Italian gelato, but it's still very good and also for that price like it's full and that was the smallest one for dinner i think i would like to have a greek salad but made at home because we don't have a budget for a restaurant left and if you actually enjoy this and you eat meat you can totally get like a gyros or a souvlaki from any takeaway place because i saw that they're around three euros so yeah, just for your reference, you can also do this, but I'm going with the salad. Hi, you know how I told you that I'm gonna make a Greek salad? <laughs> Man, funny story, I don't think I'll be making a Greek salad. So, you know, you usually need tomatoes, and we have two of these, so good. Then, cucumber, small one, check. And our list finishes here. Oh no, we also got so many olives. 
and you might be wondering how come I have so many olives when I had three euros well I actually saw the neighbors and I told them that I will be making a salad at home and they told and they gave me from their homemade olives so yeah I, I didn't pay any of this but I mean we have olives very happy and I actually got fish from the supermarket because I thought I'm missing some protein today and for the two big tomatoes for the cucumber and for the fish guess how much I paid I also didn't know until I went to the checkout but we paid 270 and I paid well, yeah 270 for all of this and the tomatoes were basically only 40 cents and the cucumber was 16 it's like literally free and after the supermarket I decided to go to the bakery and see what can I get it turned out nothing because I can get like half a bread or something and she and I guess she, she told that I'm poor or I don't have like any money left so she told she gave me this whole bread and she was like no don't worry you can pay me tomorrow or even if you don't pay me it's fine and I felt very bad because I know that like small businesses are struggling especially here now that they are on tourists so yeah I decided to like still pay like my one euro and go a little bit over budget but yeah basically we spent like a little bit more today but I think it was worth it like to pay for my bread and look how much fish I got just for two euros you can definitely make it with like eight euros for one day in Greece you just have to be smart for ten dollars today all I got was espresso coffee melon burek after that a whole freaking ice cream two tomatoes cucumber three olives, herring, and a whole bread. And I still have to say, I have lots of leftovers for tomorrow. So if you think that Greece is expensive, think twice, or maybe think smarter. But there are so many other things you can totally do for free. You can watch this crystal clear water and blue sky all for free. Or you can dive and swim into the water all for free. Or you can sunbath and take loads of vitamin D, all for free. Or you can take walks on the beach, climb rocks like a kid. Or you can watch this gorgeous sunset, also for free. And sometimes you can also get free olives. Hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe to stay tuned for my very first giveaway that will be announced in the next days. And let's just keep in touch and be friends. Love you loads. Bye.